be proud of the Quran. When Allah said he has a hand, what did he say also? There's nothing like unto him. That's it. But so, so you have to you have to understand it to be to be Muslim. You have to say I understand the it's, attributes of Allah. Instead of saying It's clear. But you know there used to be like a, a the example of free will and Allah's will. I used to have a problem with understanding how like if I have a choice to do something in life, yeah. but Allah has already predestined what I would do. Yeah. I essentially in that moment I don't have a choice because the choice I'm going to make was already made for me before. No, 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 no. Yeah. Allah predestining, yeah. Allah writing something, yeah. Allah decreeing something doesn't mean Allah is forcing you. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He's going to Uthman. It's a waste of time, okay? No one should entertain him. Because someone should tell brother Uthman, don't give him content. That's what they're looking for. Content for the channel. That's what they're looking for. That's why they've been going for the layman Muslims. That's what they're doing. And he's angry, I don't want to give him content. You no one should promote their channel. So my point here is that first Allah created everything. Mm -hmm. Allah knew everything. Mm -hmm. Allah has written everything. Allah willed it. There is no compulsion, compulsion here. Mm -hmm. And um, Allah has written it because He knew that you're going to do it. Yeah. No, Allah has written I'm it there for you. you that he's going to force you. No, Allah has written it because He knows you're going to do it. But you know, like the fact that you do, like, let's say you decided to come here today. Yeah. The fact you decided to come here today is because your brain and how you are as a personality yeah. decided that you wanted to come here today. Yeah, the but, choice Allah has given you, the soul yeah. and all of that. But that personality you have and the way that your brain thinks and everything was made for you, specifically to you by Allah. No, no, you can't do it because we don't, we don't just accept the brain. There's a soul as well. Yeah. There's other things. Yeah. Now, are you saying, because well, you, know, you know free will, there's a simple word, true Allah is just. Mm -hmm. If you are sleeping and you insult Allah, Allah has written that as well. Mm -hmm. It's in a tablet. If it happens, with yeah? May Allah save us. But if it happens, would Allah punish you because of that? I don't know. I say no. Because he doesn't. Because yeah. why? Prophet Muhammad said, the pen has been lifted from three types of people. One of them, the one who's sleeping until he wakes up. So if Allah has forced us in everything, and he will judge us for everything, why Allah, because it's been written in the prison of tablets, because he willed it, why Allah did not force, why Allah is not holding you accountable for that? Yeah. So, you see, so, so Allah is adl. So you'd say everything yeah, religiously just. needs to be understood. Huh? Each person has to understand everything religiously. No, no, say everything. So things yeah. that if you don't, under, we, we have to understand, okay. the foundation of Islam makes sense, clear. Okay. In order to understand Islam, you have to refer the branches to the foundation. Yeah. Okay? So now, what we say to you, that, uh, um, uh, what was going to say? There are certain things, if you don't understand it, the branches, we leave it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm -hmm. Doesn't go and guess that Allah is not just, none of that. Mm -hmm. You know? You understand that? Yeah, yeah. There are certain things, maybe you don't understand it now, yeah. you can understand it later. Yeah. But nothing in Islam go and guess sound reasoning and our natural inclination. Yeah. Because the one that creates us with our sound reasoning and natural inclination, is the same one subhanahu wa ta'ala who sent down mm -hmm. Islamic revelation. Yeah. No, sense. But sometimes because of the level of knowledge, you don't understand it. Yeah. I, and, I, the, I, and the example of that, so it's Isa, the example of that, Allah mentioned the story of Musa in the Quran with Al Khadr. Mm -hmm. Al Khadr did something in front of Musa. Musa couldn't comprehend it. He said that's evil. But because Musa والسلام, is judging it something based upon his limited knowledge. But Al Khadr, Allah has given extra knowledge. So if Musa, والسلام, who is a prophet of Allah, he misjudged the action of another human being like him, what about the action of Allah? You see, yeah, yeah. we know Allah is Adl. Allah will not punish anyone until even the proof is established upon him. Yeah, yeah. No, that makes sense. I, need, I obviously need to, keep, I need to keep studying. Learning. I'll, I'll take your, the points that you've taken, they've made sense to me. I'll, I want to take it back to the teacher, see you, like, tell him what I want. Okay, you know what I ask? Show me in the book of the Salaf. Yeah. Books of Salaf, not uh, books of later, okay. of the Salaf. Yeah. Say what you say. There's not. There's a book called Aqidatu al Raziyin. Aqidatu al Raziyin. Who is the Raziyin? Abu Zur'at al Raziyin, Abu Hatim al Razi. Their son asked them, Oh, my father and Abu Zur'a, can you tell me about the Aqidah, the scholars that you met around the world? Which scholars he met? Great Tabi'in. Likewise, uh, Harb al Karmani, one of the big scholars of the Salaf. He mentioned, the Aqid mentioned he got against Ash'ari Aqidah. Mm -hmm. That Allah is above his creation, separate from his creation, you know, and we affirm attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They never said, and we affirm Allah's attributes, but he's not limbs, he's not this. This is in Ash'ari books. The Ash'ari is the opposed Quran, you know, and Maturidis. Because the Quran 
affirms what is it detailed about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala affirm the attribute in details and negate in general yeah. but Asha is what they do they negate in details and they affirm in general so Allah when Allah said he has a hand with his majesty the hadith of Sahih Bukhari when, when, when a Jewish man came to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said Allah will grasp the mountain with one finger the other creation one finger I can't remember the, the order Prophet said wait wait do you mean finger in reality or metaphorical? Because a Jewish man is not coming with metaphorical. Because remember, the ass of the land is what? Yeah, is, yeah, is, yeah. is a problem. Yeah. Smile as affirmation. Yeah. So what are you going to do with the Ash'ari Maturidi? So there's many proofs from the Quran and the Sunnah goes against Ash'ari Maturidi. Ash'ari Maturidi is our times. They are Jahmiya in reality. And I made videos. You can go back and check my videos about the history of Ash'ariya and Maturidis and all of that. Because who used to say Mushabbiha, Mujassima? Who came with this word, Mujassima? Jahmiya, about Ahl Hadith. They said they are Mujassima. Barakallahu okay. Thank you, brother. Thank yeah, you're welcome, Akhi. I can give you a website that you should check. This, you know what I can do with this? He, this guy gave it to me. Which, which guy? Uh, this white guy over there. He just gave it to me. The Holy Bible. I don't know where to throw it. To uh, well, I... No, don't throw it, don't throw it. Because we don't want to disrespect. Huh? No, no, you're going to have it. This. Here, I have it. It's yours, book, your Bible. It's all right. Are you not happy with the Bible? I've got plenty. But I'm more. Give it to someone. Please. More, more. To Paper someone. boy, you're not happy? No, I'm happy. More. Someone, anyway, uh, I'll take it, inshallah. Which tab has this? English standard version. Yeah. So uh, let me give you the, the website. I'll show you here. Read this, inshallah, ta'ala. Because what you have to understand, when you speak about Allah, is the unseen. Mm -hmm. Completely. The unseen. And I want to give you an example of that as well. Okay. If I say to you, this person is soft. What are you going to picture? If I say, you know, this brother is very gentle and soft. A, you're going to picture something different when I say to you the metal is soft. Yeah, yeah. But metal, soft, soft in reality, the metal. Yeah. And human is soft. But same wording, same attribute. Yeah. But when you apply it to human, it's different when you apply it to, to a metal. You understand? Mm -hmm. So my point here is we say the wind is coming down, but the wind is still up in the sky. Mm -hmm. The rain. So what I'm saying, within the creation, there's some attribute that we share, but in reality is different. How we apply, understand? So that's what I say to you, Akhi. May Allah bless you. Let me just uh, I'll keep telling you, I'll give you the, the website. Let me show you. I have it here already. And the reason, my brothers, I don't want to speak to that guy, like I said, he wants a content for his channel. He's not interested. And now we as a Muslim, we should not be speaking to them about if Uthman exists. You believe God who is inside the womb, private part. You know, that's what they believe, by the way. That's why I don't speak to Paperboy anymore. I don't speak to Bob. Waste of time. But you can't refute our Ah, uh, yeah. The, the, the video will be witnessed, I guess you. Ashari.com. You can uh, take a picture of it. Okay. And read it. It's our teacher. I noticed there wasn't any response to the yes, child yeah. marriage video I did. I didn't even watch it, to be honest. I don't have oh, time for that. You can't refute it. How can you say I can't refute it? <laughs> because I know you can't. I will, inshallah, watch you and I'll right. respond to you. Inshallah. Watch it and see, we'll Take see this one, please. please. So give it to you're not proud of the Bible anymore, Papa? Of course I'm proud of it. But okay. it inshallah. Do, do anyway, subhanakallah, alhamdulillah, akhi. May Allah bless you, akhi Isa. Where do you live? Sorry, akhi. Uh, you know, uh, you're not far from me, brother. Oh, okay. Darsun Sunnah and Bush. You know, inshallah. Okay, okay. Come, uh, we have class today. Okay. We have class called Eight step, Steps to Happiness. Because you know, these days, a lot of depression, mm -hmm. a lot of stress, yeah. a lot of anxieties. You know, Alhamdulillah, Shah Abdul Rahman bin Nasir Saadi wrote a book called Eight Steps to Happiness. How to gain happiness. It's a, I'm starting today at 7, 7 o'clock. You are more than welcome to come. It's Dar Sunnah behind the market. Okay, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. Barakallah. We're going to be live streamed anyway on that's Da'wah. Okay. Thank yeah. you, brother. You know, I've already drank our coffee. Someone got me coffee. Love Habibi, give, I can't be holding all of this stuff, man. Church, Chidi, Akhi, mashallah. Hazel. Barakallah. Uh, he's speaking.